Back to the Powell memo. Lewis Powell, 1971. He says, we need to use the word freedom a lot. People like the word freedom, right? It is this great truth. Well, the threat to the enterprise system is not merely a matter of economics. He's talking about the threat represented by Ralph Nader and Rachel Carlson. Silent Spring had ignited a, a consumer movement. It was about how DDT might lead, because it was, when, when you use DDT, eggshells don't form, and so birds can't lay eggs, and so one day we may wake up and not hear birds singing. That, that, thus the title, Silent Spring. One spring, the birds will just not come back. They'll all be dead. And it's what would have happened if we hadn't banned DDT. And then Ralph Nader wrote on Safe at Any Speed, I think this was 65 and 67, as I recall, was the Silent Spring and, and uh, Unsafe at Any Speed. But anyhow, it was in the late 60s. And this was 1971. And Lewis Powell is saying, the threat to the enterprise system is not merely a matter of economics. It is also a threat to individual freedom. Now, the individuals he's talking about are people like Sheldon Adelson and David and Charles Koch and the other billionaires who are pumping money through their systems. He's not talking about the freedom of the average working person. He's not talking about the freedom to join a union. He's not talking about the freedom to go to a good public school. He's not talking about the freedom to, to, to go to college and not come out on the other end with, with $40,000 in debt for the rest of your life, or $100,000 or $200,000 in debt. He's not talking about those kind of freedoms. He's talking about the freedom of financial oligarchs to run America. So anyhow, he says, it's a threat to individual freedom. It is this great truth, now so submerged by the rhetoric of the new left and of many liberals, that must be reaffirmed if this program is to be meaningful. There seems to be little awareness that the only alternatives to free enterprise are varying degrees of bureaucratic regulation of individual freedom ranging from that under moderate socialism to the iron heel of the leftist or rightist dictatorship. But whatever the causes of diminishing economic freedom may be, the truth is that freedom as a concept is indivisible, and it is this message, above all others, that must be carried home to the American people. Freedom! There's a drinking game for you. Watch Fox News. Freedom, right? It's the Powell memo. 